welcome to this podcast. I'm Joy Fay, and today I want to talk about how we look at painting. And I've been inspired to do this by actually a video that I saw on um, the Tate's, uh, Tate Gallery in London. And there was a, a lovely a talk given about it, and it inspired me to really think about this in a new way. And I wanted to share that with you today. Now, it's interesting because I talk a lot about, you know, when we're painting, um, how to critique your own painting, you know, where your eye goes around a painting, where your focal point is, your composition, your design. And, you know, it's interesting when we look at our own paintings, to look at that, we want to see those um, uh, focal points, those contrasts, the colour values. But when we come to have a look at um, other people's work, and particularly if you can, if you're in a gallery looking at um, paintings in the flesh, if you like, it's interesting to um, look how you're looking at somebody else's work. And what the suggestion was in um, this uh, talk that I, I was listening to was, to see it a little bit like, um, if you like, a menu. <laughs> and you have your starters, your main course, and your dessert. And uh, it kind of interested me because it's an, you know, it's a good way of, of thinking about it. Bearing in mind, statistically, people only look at a piece of work for eight seconds, which isn't very long. But, you know, if you're drawn into a painting and, and it's something that you really like, it's worth actually delving into it a little bit deeper and looking at it in more depth. Not just somebody else's work, but also your own work, because I think, you know, you can gain so much from, from looking at it differently and um, getting the benefit. So... Um, if we consider then looking at it um, initially, you know, and our eyes just kind of um, go round, we're looking at the starters, if you like, maybe it's a good idea to <clears throat> actually really uh, pay attention to, first of all, what materials have they used? You know, is it oil? Is it acrylic? Is it watercolour? Is it mixed media, collage? So really observe what sort of materials are in the painting. Then, um, when you have a look at it, who is it made by? <laughs> who is it painted by? Was it painted by somebody young, somebody older, a woman or a man? You know, get the feeling of who painted this, this painting. And try to, if you like, connect with the art. With, with the piece that you're looking at and see what it actually reveals to you. If it's something that you like, what is it that you like about it? <laughs> if it's something that you don't like, um, obviously, what is it that you don't like? <laughs> um, and a helpful tip is to describe the artwork as if you were trying to explain it to somebody. And I think this is a really helpful thing to think about. Um, you know, if you see um, something, a painting that you really like, you know, what is it that resonates and what, how would you actually explain that to a friend? You know, so you're getting feedback and the same thing from your own painting. You know, what are you getting from it? What, what does it mean to you? How are you interpreting it? Then if we dive on to the next stage um, of the menu, if you like, the main course, um, consider what kind of um, art, what, what the artwork is about. What, what, is, what are they trying to say? What are they feeling when they painted that, that uh, picture? Um, and, you know, when you, when you look at it in that way, you pick up on it in a very different, in a different, in a very different way. 
long time ago I used to do quite a lot of art therapy and it was very interesting to um, when I was working with different clients you know the colors that they chose and the movements that they made on the paper with the colors what kind of brush strokes they made and you know the emotion that was behind it and it taught me a lot about having an insight into a painting and feeling for you know, the emotion of it and I was very thankful for that period of time and my training in that art therapy because it, it adds a new dimension and you know bearing in mind you know it's very subjective people will see it in so many different ways and I know again for myself if I ever put a painting up on Facebook or Instagram and I ask people what they see and what title would they give it <laughs> the amount of differences are amazing because people see things in so many different ways and <laughs> you just never know and that's so that's really to me the interesting point about abstract painting is that it's totally open to interpretation and you know sometimes it can be quite controversial sometimes it can be quite disturbing sometimes it can be very uplifting but to different people it has you know different meaning but what does it mean to you and what are you getting from it and if you start really opening up your mind to um, understanding that and looking at it differently not just kind of glancing past it but really looking and it was fascinating because a little while ago I was in the uh, Picasso Museum in Malaga which I'm very lucky to have on my doorstep and you know I spent a lot of time actually just in front of one picture looking at um, really the colour contrast, the designs, um, how how that how he'd put his color palette together what he was trying to say to me and it was fascinating i have probably spent about 10 minutes in front of that painting just looking at the detail and then stepping back and looking at it as a whole and how did it make me feel and i think this is a wonderful way to look at a painting other people's and yours. <laughs> so then let's go, let's move on. Um, some of the notes that I've got here. Um, when you come to thinking about the title, what title would you give it? And is it, if you're looking at somebody else's, is it the same title as that they've given it? And if it isn't, whose do you prefer? you know, what, what's the title that they've given it saying to you? What would be the title that you've given it saying to you? <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Just something extra to think about to provoke your emotions. And, you know, that's what art is all about at the end of the day. It's to make us think, it's to make us feel, it's to make us have a different um, perspective about something that we might have felt, you know, quite tunnel vision about. It might open us up to a lot of new possibilities. <laughs> and I feel that there's something tremendously to be gained as often as possible to go and have a look at, um, you know, go to a gallery and look at other art and test yourself on how you feel and what you think and do a deep dive into the feeling of the painting. You know, what would be the backstory to it? What provoked the artist to paint that? All these different questions are very sort of um, deep really to have real appreciation of the painting. So <laughs> let's have a look at then maybe um, 
Another thought is, does a painting have to be beautiful? Is it necessary for it to be beautiful to have an emotion? And if it's not beautiful, but it has an emotion, how does that make you feel? <laughs> I love all these questions because, you know, it takes you off on a new journey of your thinking and your feeling about art. You know, it opens up so many new doors to um, feel connected to painting. And I feel that that's one of the reasons why I paint, because of that connection. I love to be able to, you know, bring out my emotions onto a painting. <clears throat> so it's interesting to have a look at those ideas and to see if they provoke any memories in you, if it takes you to a certain place um, in your mind of various things that are happening, whether they're good or whether they were uncomfortable. You know, I want to kind of um, get across the feeling of having a whole experience when you're um, looking at art, rather than just glancing and moving on to the next. Go really deep into it and think about those questions. And then when you come to do your own painting, it gives you another dimension for your own work. So <laughs> I hope that you've um, found that inspirational and interesting and something to take away with you and think about. So if you have any um, particular things that you feel about looking at paintings, then do share them in the comments. Um, it would be lovely to know how you feel when you're looking at um, art and the difference between looking at somebody else's art and looking at your own. And, you know, sometimes, actually, when I think about it, you know, I've got piles of um, sketches and paintings that I've done over the years. And sometimes when I go back through them and I look at them, I think, goodness me, did I do that? That's interesting. That's not what I usually do because I'd forgotten that I'd painted it. And it kind of gives me a new sort of idea about, wow, well, I didn't realize that I'd done that. And you might find the same thing and um, surprise yourself like I do for myself. <laughs> so leave me a comment um, if, you, if you feel that you'd like to share something, that would be great. And give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you want more, then, you know, subscribe. And that helps us with um, the YouTube algorithm and helps to get this video out to as many people as possible. So that would be fantastic. So thanks for listening and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.